In a town where secrets are buried beneath the leaves and shadows watch your every move, This can't be happening. One young woman will uncover what should have remained forgotten. Those who wander here do not wander out. <laughs> this film was fully created by AI. You can see it keeps the character consistent and provides a great result. The most interesting fact is that I created this video with AI. And today, I will share the step-by-step -step method of creating an AI movie. So, without further ado, let's dive in. To create any film with AI, you need to follow the following steps. Write the script, generate storyboard, generate scenes, generate voiceover, and assemble them with a video editor. From writing the script to creating the video clips and voiceover can be possible with a single AI-powered platform called Abacus AI Chat LLM Team. And the most important part is, you can access all the AI features only for $10 per month. So, I will use the Chat LLM team. Once you are on the Abacus AI homepage, click here to access the Chat LLM team. After coming to this page, click on Get Started and create your account. Once you are logged in, your interface will be like this. If you click on the drop-down button from here, you will find all the LLMS. I will use this root LLM as it will use the perfect LLM to generate our content. First of all, we have to create or write the script. So, come to the prompt box. To write a perfect film script, enter the prompt. I am typing, write a trailer script for a horror movie featuring a young lady. Here you can see that it used Claude Sonnet 3 to generate the script. You can use alternative LLMs to generate the content, and it generates the script in Playground, but we don't need a Playground. So, I am giving a command to generate the script in text mode. And here it is. Our script is ready. And honestly speaking, the script is so good. Now we will generate the prompt with AI, so that we can generate it with them. I am entering a ready prompt where I mentioned how the prompt should be. Don't worry. I will put the prompt in the description box. You can use it. After entering the prompt, hit the generate button. And here it is. You can see, it generates prompts for us. It's amazing. But there is a catch. It generates prompts in a complex way, so we have to make it simple. So I am entering another prompt. This time I also mentioned the character description. After entering the prompt, hit the enter button. And our newly generated prompt is ready. Now we can generate the videos with these prompts. To generate the videos, you can select the video generation option from here and then enter the prompt in this box. After that, set the aspect ratio and the video duration. But before generating the video, I will generate images to keep the character consistent. So first of all, copy all the prompts into a doc file. Now come back to Abacus AI. Select the image generation option from here. Now copy the first prompt from the doc file, and then paste it into the prompt box. Now we have to mention the image aspect ratio. Otherwise, it will generate images in a square aspect ratio. Okay, now hit the enter button. It will take some time to generate the image. And here it is, the image is ready. Abacus AI uses Flux 1.1 to generate the image. Now you can download the image by clicking on this small download icon. Okay, our first image is ready. Now let's generate the second image. Select the image generation option, copy the second prompt, and paste it into the abacus. Mention the aspect ratio, and then hit the enter button. And here it is. Our image is ready. In this same method, generate images with all the prompts and then download them to your device. All right, the images are ready. Now let's turn them into video. To do that, select the video generator option. Once the pop-up appears, enter the first prompt. Next, you can enter some negative prompts. After that, set the CFG scale. Next, set the aspect ratio and then the duration. You can generate 5 second and 10 second long videos. After that, click here to upload the image. Upload the image related to the prompt. Now to enhance the prompt, you can turn on this option. We don't need it, so I am skipping this part. Once everything is set, hit the generate button. Now it will take some time to generate the image. Let's fast forward this part. And here it is, the video is ready. And the quality is so good. 
Now click here to download the video to your device. OK, our first video clip is ready. Now generate the second video. Select the video generation option, copy the second prompt, set the video duration, and then upload the second image. Once everything is set, hit the generate button. And here it is, the second video is ready. Now, in the same method, generate videos with every image and prompt. Download them and organize them in a folder. All right, our video clips are ready. Now we have to generate the voiceover. To do that, first, we have to extract the voiceover text from the script. So copy the full script and then create a new chat. Now type like me. Extract the narration part from this script and then paste the full script. And here it is, you can see AI extracts only the narration part. Now to convert the narration part to audio, click on the sound icon from here. After that, set a voice actor from here. As per the suggestion, we have to choose a deep voice for the narration. Once you find the voice actor, save it. Now download the voiceover. In the same way, extracting other dialogue parts in person is also important. Extract the text and convert it to audio. Now we have to edit the audio. To do that, I will use Audacity. I already made a video on how you can generate voiceovers with Abacus AI and customize them to professional voiceovers with Audacity. So, I am not going deeper. You can watch the video from the I button. Alright, our voiceover is ready. Now we have to collect some BGM and sound effects. You can download it from any royalty-free website. I downloaded it from Pixabay. Okay, all of our assets are ready. Now it's time to assemble them with a video editor. I will use the CapCut video editor. You can use any. All right, first of all, import all the video clips into the media bin. Now insert them into the timeline in ascending order. Give proper time to set the video order properly. Once the video infestation is completed, import all the narration and voiceover. Now insert them into the timeline and set the position according to the need. Sometimes you may need to adjust the video duration. Do it properly. Once the narration part is set, insert the BGM and sound effects. Give proper time to set sound design, it's very important. After completing the sound design, you can add some effects to make the video more engaging. Next, you can add transitions between the scenes if needed. Once everything is set, hit the export button. It will take some time to render the video. In that time, if you also want to create this kind of AI film, why are you buying so many tools? Just pay $10 per month and you will get access to all of the tools. All right, our video is ready. Let's have a look. In a town where secrets are buried beneath the leaves and shadows watch your every move. <gasps> this can't be happening. One young woman will uncover what should have remained forgotten. Those who wander here do not wander out. <laughs> when the past calls, will you dare to answer? Come on, Emma. It's just an old tale. It's not real. Then why has no one been to that house in over 50 years? If you find this, please don't follow me. This Halloween, fear has a name, and it's watching you. It's just amazing. By making some extra effort, you can make more captivating videos. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience creating videos with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating.